Welcome. We are so pleased that you're joining us today as we have important product news to share with you. Every day we are inhaling 11,000 liters of air. That's why healthy indoor air is so crucial for our well-being. Therefore, we require efficient HVAC systems that also have a big impact in reducing CO2 emissions. As we are designing an HVAC system, we are starting by calculating the heating and cooling load of every room or zone. We then add up those values to simulate the annual energy consumption of the building and to verify if we are meeting building codes or higher standards. What has been striking to me since years is that once the building is up and running, we never ever measure the performance of zones and rooms again. We do not know if our designs have been working. This neglect has been the source of inspiration for our Belimo engineers. And this is why today we are writing the next chapter in the pursuit of energy efficiency. We are combining the world of thermal energy metering with that of temperature controls. We believe that those two worlds should be one. And this is what our game-changing product is all about. We bring together what belongs together. I am thrilled to announce the next generation of thermal energy meters and the brand new Energy Valve 4. Now, Andy Brooks, our energy efficiency expert, will take you on a tour on which you learn on how to make an even bigger impact with your HVAC system. Welcome to the Energy Valve and Thermal Energy Meter Launch Show. My name's Andy Brooks, and it's my pleasure to tell you about these two new products from Bolimo. Coming up, I'm going to talk to you about thermal energy metering and how important that is in your next project. We're going to talk to some of my colleagues. We're going to talk to Philip in Himville, Switzerland. He's going to tell us just how much glyco affects thermal energy metering. We'll then talk to Nigel in the US in Danbury, Connecticut. He is going to tell us just how much testing goes into our new products before they're ready for launch. And then Jo, she's in Hong Kong. She'll be telling us just how easy Power Over Ethernet is to use and how much of a difference it will make on your next project. The separate worlds of thermal energy metering and BMS have frustrated the energy saving efforts of engineers all over the world. We see that problem as data. You can't get data from certified billable meters into the BMS very easily. So we took the step of creating a BACnet and Modbus compatible EN1434 certified billable meter. And we combined that product with our energy valve, the Energy Valve 4. It has some new features as well, but we'll talk about that later in the show. But we also left it as a standalone thermal energy meter. So wherever you want to apply a certified billable meter and still get that data up to the BMS, you can. Because we like to keep your life simple at Bulimo, each of our EN1434 certified thermal energy meters comes with its own digital calibration certificate shipped with each device. But now, I'd like to know more about glycol. I've heard thermal energy meters are affected as much as 20% when there's glycol in the water. That sounds like a lot. But I've got a colleague, Philip, who knows everything there is to know about glycol. He's in our lab in Himville. Hopefully he's with us now. Are you there, Philip? Ah, hi, Philip. Okay, let's talk about the heat transfer in heating or cooling circuits. If you want to measure the heat transfer, we need the volumetric flow, the density, the heat capacity, and the differential temperature between the supply and the return pipe. But Philip, how does a glyco affect the heat transfer? 
if you take a look at the density, it increases by about 10 to 15 percent if you look at it over the complete temperature range and the glycols that we can add. If you look at heat capacity, there we have a decrease of about 25 percent, especially at low temperatures. But the greatest effect is on the volumetric flow. There we can have an influence of up to 25 or 30 percent. Great, so now I know the flow velocity, how do I get to the volumetric flow? Is there anything that influences that? We have a pipe with two ultrasonic transducers and two reflectors. We send an ultrasonic impulse down this way, it's being reflected, going up here again. Then we send another pulse the other way around. Now if the water or the fluid goes through the pipe like this, then the first pulse has a tailwind and the second pulse has a headwind. So the first pulse is being accelerated while the second pulse is being slowed down. Our electronics measures the transit times of the two impulses. And with that we can calculate both the speed of sound in the fluid, but also the flow velocity of the fluid itself. So now we know the flow velocity, but at the end we want to have the volumetric flow. And the volumetric flow is affected by the flow velocity distribution or the flow profile in the pipe. There we have a difference between laminar and turbulent flow. It greatly affects the flow profile, but it's also affected by the viscosity of the fluid. And the viscosity changes by a factor of up to 100 or 200 if you add glycol and go to low temperatures. So we measured the physical properties, density, viscosity, heat capacity and speed of sound for a whole lot of different fluids at different concentrations and over the complete temperature range. Thanks Philip. Wow, so glycol really affects the viscosity of the water. So all those times we've been putting just a bit too much in, because it's better than not enough, we've been making the pumps work a lot harder than they otherwise would have done. At almost 10 years old and four versions in, the original smart valve keeps getting smarter. This time around, we've added for you NFC setup and commissioning, IP67, NEMA 4 outdoor enclosures, power over ethernet, and we even allow you to split the installation so you don't need to have the flow meter right next to the two port control valve any longer. So I wanna find out just how much testing goes into a new Belimo product before we release it. To do that, I need to talk to my colleague, Nigel. He's in Danbury, Connecticut in the US, in our water lab, and he's gonna tell us more about it. So let's see if he's there. Hi, Nigel. Thank you, Andy. Welcome to our Danbury, Connecticut headquarters. I'm Nigel Gallimore, manager for product management water solutions in the Americas. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you our water lab where we thoroughly test all our valves before they are delivered to the market. Let's take a look at one of our rigs where there is a test currently running. Come on in. Performance, accuracy and durability is very important to Belimo and our customers. So we extensively put all our valves through rigorous testing ensuring they meet the expectations of our demanding markets. This is why our valves have a five-year warranty, and with the energy valve connected to the cloud, we extend the warranty to seven years. Do you know what my favorite feature of the energy valve for is? The patented power control. When in power control mode, the energy valve can equate a control input to a power requirement. So now, a signal is given and delivers the same power irrespective of flow, temperature, or air volume. This is a game changer that I think all our customers will appreciate. Thank you. With the Energy Valve 4, we've kept everything you knew and love about the Energy Valve 3. So we've still got position control, where we just take the DDC controller and position the valve, making it pressure dependent. We've got flow control, where we now take the DDC control signal, interpret that into a required flow rate, and position the valve based on that requirement. We've also got power control. 
Power control is a departure completely from the traditional valve characteristic as we know it, and makes the valve both pressure and flow temperature independent, equating the DDC control signal into a power requirement and always delivering that power. We've kept Delta T Manager and Delta T Scaling. We've also put in digitally supported workflows. Difficult for me to say, easy for you to do. You just need your smartphone, the Bulimo Assistant app, and using the NFC chip on the device, we guide you through everything, from setting up the BMS networking settings to commissioning the thermal energy meter. So, digitally supported workflows. Let me just show you how easy that is. To do that, I'll need a smartphone, and I'll need to open the Bulimo Assistant app. Once I've got that open, I can then set up, using the NFC chip, all of the device's properties. So I just need to connect to the device here. There we go. And now I'm guided through setting up the flow control mode and the flow rate on the device. Once I've got that set up, I simply write those settings to the device using the NFC chip again. And then once that's gone in, I can then optionally upload that data to the cloud to form a commissioning record for the entirety of the device's life. I can even take a couple of pictures of the installed location as well. So you've just seen how easy it is to set up the device using the NFC chip. My favorite bit about the NFC chip is it doesn't need power. So you can configure the device on your desk before ever it gets to site. Or you're not chasing an electrician trying to get power on, which is always a problem. Anyway, hopefully you think the device is as great as we do, but let's hear from some other customers about what they think. Seit 2013, 2014 ist das Krankenhaus um ca. 40% an Nutzfläche gewachsen. Der Energieverbrauch ist aufgrund des Einsatzes der Energieventile jedoch auf gleichem Niveau geblieben, was darauf zurückzuführen ist, dass wir alle Gebäudeteile nur noch mit der Wärme und der Kälte versorgen, die sie auch tatsächlich benötigen. The proof of concept was a major success. It exceeded my expectations. Also die Zukunft ist sicher digital, äh, Internet der Dinge, IoT ist sicher äh, ein großes Thema und mit den Geräten sind wir auf dem besten Weg dazu. Es wurde zum ersten Mal sichtbar, wie viel Kubikmeter durch welche Rohrleitung fließt. Das begeisterte natürlich das Krankenhaus, genauso wie auch uns, weil normalerweise man so etwas nicht sehen kann. Energy Valve ist ein Element determinant in diesem Projekt, der uns ermöglicht, zu obtenir viele Daten zu bekommen de permettre aussi à mieux comprendre notre réseau afin d'avoir la bonne puissance, la bonne, le bon débit, la bonne température au bon moment sur l'installation. Am Ende des Jahres haben wir 1,2 Millionen Kilowattstunden Erdgas verbraucht und jetzt können wir das auf die einzelnen Gebäudeteile aufteilen. In the course of that project we saved 49% in chill water pumping, about 23,000 a year in total chill water savings, pumping savings and even steam reduction due to the valves. It was a very successful project. It paid back in about 2.4 years. To bring that back to my boss, it made her look good, it made me look good, it made our entire team look good. Zusätzlich war uns schon bewusst, dass diese Ergebnisse auch eine deutliche Einsparung im Energieverbrauch geben werden. We work with Bellimo and Bellimo products for not just one reason. It's about the brand. It's about the quality what they give. It's about the technology and the upgradation in the technology what they bring in. So that's one of the fantastic thing in Bellimo. And even the most amazing part is about their services. It's exceptional in the industry what we get from them. Am besten gefällt mir cloud anbindung Das gibt uns Transparenz über unsere Energieflüsse und Sicherheit, dass wir es richtig machen. With the energy valve, we have savings that we can see. Welcome back. I want to talk about how easy we've made the life cycle of our certified meter range. So the EN 1434 meters. Some regions require them to be recalibrated every three to five years. We thought about that and how we can make your life a little bit easier. So we have two modules. We have a logic module, which all the wiring goes into, and we have a sensor module. That's the bit you need to get recalibrated. So now you can simply separate the two, take the sensor module away, replace it with a freshly calibrated one, put them back together, and you've not had to adjust any wiring. 
Of course, you can connect the energy valve up using analog signals from your DDC controller, but it really starts to get useful when you use a bus and digital communication with the device. We've tried to make that easy for you by enabling the device to have power over Ethernet. So from one Ethernet cable, you can deliver both power and have digital communication with the device. This is great because now you don't need a 24 volt transformer and you don't need the electrician to wire up the high voltage side of that because power over ethernet is low voltage. That makes your life significantly easier on a job site. But now my colleague Joe is gonna tell us all about how easy it is to connect a device with power over ethernet. Hi Joe. Thank you Andy. Welcome to the Bilimo Experience Center in Hong Kong. I would like to show you how easy it is to connect an energy wire 4 to the BMS. All you need is a LAN cable. With power over Ethernet, both power and data can be carried at the same time. Now I connect the LAN cable to the energy wire. The lights indicate the power is on. Wait for a minute for the connection to be done. Then we can log in to the Energy Wharf landing page. The Energy Wharf 4 communicates to the BMS through BATnet or MOBUS through the LAN cable. Now the reading is displayed at the BMS dashboard. Easily done. Please do not forget the thermal energy meter. It is the same simple connection. But of course, you can still wire by the 24 volt power and the communication cable separately. So, it's error-proof, fast, and nimble. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Joe. Very impressive. Hopefully, most of our customers will connect to the energy valve using the Ethernet cable as Joe's just shown us. Doing so will allow the energy valve to connect to the Belimo cloud if you allow it using the web server. It's as simple as checking a box to agree to the terms and conditions and then open an outbound port on your firewall, and then the energy valve can securely communicate with the Bulimo cloud. Doing this takes your five-year warranty to seven-year warranty, so worth considering. A lot of our customers make use of the cloud connection because it allows multiple authorized users to log in and see the device's digital twin. From there, they can access commissioning reports and the usage data from the meter. The cloud connection offers a multitude of other companies the capability to come in and look at that data. They can do that securely and only when specifically authorized by the device owner. But these building IoT companies are making more and more use of this data. So to give you more information, I've invited along Skybill, one of the companies we're working with, who will tell you more about what they do with that data. My name is Maurice, I'm CEO of company Skybill. Uh, we are located in Latvia, we have a couple of branches also in, in US and, and in Cyprus. And we have made our, our vertical solution, which is for utility sector. And uh, it is utility management, utility billing, utility uh, client portals. My name is Ernest, I'm CTO at Skybill. So we been working with Bilimo on integrating their IoT cloud with uh, Skybill to create an end-to-end meter-to-cache system where their certified heat meters can be used in, for the billing purposes uh, with the need uh, to provide bills to their end customers. They need a full solution. So that's where Bilimo helps us. And we help them to complete Solution. Welcome back. Skybill is one of hundreds of building IoT companies that we're offering a secure API connection to to enable them to pull thermal energy metering data directly off our cloud and bill tenants directly. So if you offer explicit permission to them, we can give them access and they can take a lot of the hard work out of billing tenants locally. So let me summarize. As you've just seen, Bolimo have created an EN 1434 MID approved billable meter. You can use that meter either standalone or in combination with the energy valve, the energy valve four. Both devices, although can be powered separately, actually make use of power over ethernet technology. Making use of that technology 
allows you to put both power and data into the device with one cable. Ethernet connections make connection to the Belimo cloud very easy. Once you've made that secure connection to our Belimo cloud, then IoT-based billing is also enabled using an API connection into our cloud. All this from a device that still looks after the Delta T at the heat exchanger. If you want to know more about the thermal energy meter or the energy valve, contact your local Belimo office. Keep an eye out for the application guide. That'll tell you the best way to apply the energy valve in your building. And now, over to you, Lars. Thank you for this amazing tour, Andy. With certified thermal energy metering and temperature controls, we brought together what belongs together. As an HVAC designer by training, I'm so excited about these new products that are simplifying the design and the installation by reducing the number of devices to one perfect package. And most importantly, the monitoring of energy data just became a snap. Now you can measure the impact of your HVAC designs. Over the next months, the complete range of thermal energy meters and the Energy Valve 4 will become available globally. But now let's check on the logistics. I'm so pleased to have Annette with me and she will tell us more on how we ensure the on-time delivery of our products. Hi Lars, good to see you. We're excited to be part of the Energy Valve product launch event. Welcome to the Danbury Customizing and Logistics Center, one of nine worldwide. Let me give you a glimpse of what we do best and how we're able to provide exceptional lead times and fast order processing to our customers. As you know, we're continuously looking to improve our logistics processes and material flows throughout this building. We are excited to offer our customers this increase in logistics capabilities and the latest and most modern infrastructure to ship our new products. Thank you, Lars. Back to you. Thank you, Annette. Good to see that we are well prepared. If you now have an actual project, please contact the Belimo sales team and we would be delighted to supporting you. And also watch out for a roadshow that is coming near you. And now I'm thanking you for your loyalty and thanks for joining us in the pursuit of energy efficiency.